Kia ora, kōtia ho, hara mai, welcome to Homemade Let's Cook. We're making a coffee and almond slice today. So you're going to need some ground almonds, you're also going to need to make up some coffee, but you only need a tablespoon worth. Let's start with 125 grams of butter, and I'm using an olive oil based spread for this one, rather than butter. And into that, I'm adding two thirds of a cup of caster sugar. So this recipe is actually going to be dairy free for all our dairy free friends out there, which is wonderful. So you could do this with a beater if you want to, um, but I'm just gonna use my spoon for this one. I have pre-whisked together two eggs and that goes in next. Now sometimes you think of almonds and you think almond meal and you think, oh goodness, that's going to be expensive. But look, just try the home brand at your local supermarket. It doesn't end up being as expensive as you think it might end up being. So we're using two types of almonds today. We do have the ground almonds or the almond meal and we are using some sliced almonds and we're going to use them on the top. So that's come together nicely. It's split a little bit, but that, again, that never matters. Once you get the flour in there, it's all forgotten. All right, I'm using two types of flour today. I've got half a cup of self-raising flour and one cup of plain flour. I'm just gonna pop about half of it in to start with. And then I'm going to use my whole packet of brown almonds. There's 70 grams here. So I'm just going to pop in half of that, just at this stage. And then I've got half a cup of desiccated coconut and I'm just gonna pop in about half of that as well. So I'm just gonna give that a bit of a stir. So nice and easy. Now the next thing I'm going to put in, and it probably doesn't matter what order you put these things in, I've made up my coffee. It's one tablespoon of coffee and one tablespoon of hot water. So I'm just going to add that now. And that of course is very much going to change the color of my mixture. And you'll see, you'll see it starts to go that light brown golden colour. Looks a bit like golden syrup. So just give that a good mix. And then I'm going to add the rest of my dry ingredients. So the rest of the flowers. The rest of that coconut. The rest of that almond. and just stir that around. Now we've got the oven on moderate. And our cooking time is gonna be about 20 to 25 minutes. But again, that will depend on your oven. So this is almost incorporated together. I'm using my square slice pan today cake pan. So just bring that in now. And put our mixture into that. Now I'll probably need to use just some wet hands or damp hands to pat this down. reasonable height as well this particular recipe. So I can push it down a little bit with the spoon. So I'll do that to start with, but then I think it's time to, to get our hands dirty for this one. 
So I'm going to continue doing that. And then I'll pop it in the oven. And I'll see when it comes out. So out of the oven, our slice is going to look like this. Should be nice and lightly browned on the top. And there may even be a crack or two. And that's going to be okay. Leave it to cool on a wire rack. I'm going to give it a little bit of time just to cool down before I lift it out though. And then, after it's cooled down, I'm going to pop on some icing and I'll slice it. I'll be back then. See you soon. Now it's the fun part. And we're almost at the end. So it's time to ice our slice. I've made a coffee icing out of one cup of icing sugar. Two teaspoons of coffee dissolved in a little bit of hot water and about 60 grams of olive oil based margarine. Um, that has come together nicely. It's lovely and soft and that is going to go straight on top of our slice which is nicely cooled down. to be um, too precise or too flat because it is going to be covered in our sliced almonds. So just generously place it over the top. Doesn't matter if the icing goes over the sides. It's definitely enough icing for the whole cake. And it's actually quite nice if it's got some little peaks and swirls in it anyway. And this particular icing, because I haven't made it with butter, it might not harden up too much. So I'll probably just cut it up fairly soon after I have popped the sliced almonds on. So you can be generous with the sliced almonds, if you wish. Um, you could use blanched almonds as well, if you wanted to. But anything where they're thinly sliced would be great. So it's certainly a very attractive looking slice. And probably to be made made to be had with a cup of coffee as opposed to a cup of tea given the coffee flavorings and while it may not be one for the children i'm sure the older members of your family or extended family will certainly enjoy it so there it is before i've cut it up now i will try try as i might to cut a slice here, just so you can see it on the inside. And that is what it should look like. I'm gonna keep cutting it up and pop our serving suggestion at the end and for our thumbnail. Thanks for joining me for Homemade Let's Cook. Please join me again. Ka kite.